Hey Drawing 3. So here's what's going to be going on right now. I'm going to be showing you how to do the unfinished finished figure study. Alright, so you did the pair deck, you got your pictures put into the Google Drive folder. So now what are we going to do with this? Okay, so a couple things. I showed you to get some paper, right? So what I did is I went ahead and I got my, my bag. You can see I opened it up. I didn't rip it up. Okay, uh, I have some pencil. My, I got my 2H. I've got my erasers and I've got my color pencils that are ready to go, my 24 color set, as well as my image resources that I'm gonna be using. All right, so, and of course, I've got my handy dandy sharpener nearby. Now, what's gonna be happening is I'm going to be doing my quick sketch, and my quick sketch is going to be five minutes at the most. So, I'm actually gonna set myself a timer, okay? And you can see it's already set for five minutes. All right, so that's gonna be my first. My first thing is I can do a sketch for about five minutes or so um, of what I'm gonna be doing. You'll see the drawing as well as the picture that I'm using as my image resource developing. Do not go from memory, okay? Don't go from memory. I want you to use your image resource. It's there for a reason. All right, and then we're going to. Then the next part is going to be me actually drawing and shading for like about what 20, 25 minutes max. All right, so. That's what I'm gonna do. So again, I'm gonna have to reset my timer to make sure that I get done in about 25 to 30 minutes, or 25, total 30 minutes, okay? Because from start to finish. So this isn't something that's going to be, remember it's finished, unfinished, okay? That's kind of the point. You, you need to work a little bit fast, okay? So the, uh, the idea is not perfection. It is process. The idea is making choices, making decisions, getting proportion down quickly, um, drawing fast and finishing certain parts that you really want to stand out. What's going to be the most important part that you want to draw attention to? All those things play a part in this, okay? So that's what you're going to be seeing here in a moment. All right, so get your stuff ready and I'll be drawing in a second. All right.
right, so here I am. Not done, obviously, right? I still got a lot to do, even before, even though it's finished, unfinished. Well, nothing really looks finished yet. This is starting to look pretty decent in here, but before I jump into that and start, you know, patting myself on the back, what I want to do is I want to take a good, uh, I want to take a good look at this and see what I'm doing well, and see what I can improve on. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm really going to pay attention to my proportions, right? And I'm going to take a look, or and my uh, my angles, right? And I'm going to look and see, okay, did I get this right? And I'm pretty close, right? But I'm looking at the nose here, and something's not right here. And I think what it is is that I started to flatten out the nose. So I'm going to have to go back into it and fix that up, right? So that's something I'm going to make a note of. And I'm going to ask you to make a note of on your drawings, right? Now let's take a look at the eyes. The eyes, yeah, I'm getting them. If you notice, it's just slightly off. I need to go up more of an angle. Okay, so that's something I'm going to be doing later. So I'm going to be fixing that up. So I'm going to make a note of that. This area, look at this right here. Look, that's way off. Something happened here, and I'm not exactly sure what happened. You know, it's just like I kind of, I, I have to bring this out into here. Okay, that shoulder's completely missing. It's way too low. It's completely off. Look at the negative space. I can see the neck over here. So there's a lot that I have to do. Look at the shoulder. I kind of, you know, decent here in terms of that, but the angle. Whoa, got to fix that. And that's going to impact this. Okay, because when I look at this arm right here, look how much space there's there. Okay, there isn't a lot, and I made it a lot bigger than it is. Now, granted, I think that part of that is I gotta bring that, that sleeve down, but that plays a part in here with that shoulder and that angle. So you can see that even though I'm pretty happy with what's going on in here in the face, there's still quite a bit of work that I need to do and a couple things that I need to fix. But take a look at the amount of time I took into this, right? I took five minutes to sketch things out and draw things out. Then, as I started drawing, started, I put in the shadows and some of the highlights in there, and I was playing around with colors, okay? Because I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to use. And there's some decisions I, I made that are really good, and some decisions that I made that were not good, okay? So let's take a look at that. So I'm looking at my colors in here. This is basically what my color palette was. Whoop. Take away from that. All right, of these colors, there's some that worked out really well and some that did not work out really well of these pencils, right? My white, absolutely, I think it did a fabulous job, okay? These two did did a really good job of getting into my shadows, right? I was pretty happy with that. And then I was left with these guys over here. These colors here, one of these really did not help me much. And I would have to say it's my mustard yellow, right? Which is the, uh, the goldenrod. Ah, mm. Yeah, I'm not really happy with it, okay? Now, however, what I did like, though, is that my sienna brown, my burnt sienna, kind of helped complement uh, my red in here and started to help me out with some more natural earth tones. Also, it kind of matched up with my brown wrapping paper, so that was kind of good. This worked out to kind of diffuse my white a little bit, okay? So that helped, but there's other colors I may have to play around with. And so now that I know what these colors do, I'm actually gonna start playing around with some colors down in here maybe or somewhere else on this brown paper to see what these colors actually do and how they're going to work but i'm going to identify the areas that i want to work on okay so that's basically what your next steps are going to be after we're done with this is i'm going to give you a little you know kind of presentation or not presentation but i'm going to make something that you're going to be critiquing your work and tell me what you're going to work on for the next time that we draw all right so hopefully you had some fun with this and you can see, hey, I'm doing it too, all right? Okay, till next time.